Serena, would you mind coming up here just a moment and tell them a little bit of your story? Would that be okay? I had your video so you could be poised and perfect and ready, and we don't have it for that. I do apologize. <laughs> I've been in a situation with Steph that's exactly why. <laughs> um, yes, I first met Mr. Cameron in a one day uh, orientation for the college. And actually, if I can go back to 2000 when I first got my GED and I got a pathway scholarship to Portland Community College. Um, when I went there, I was so lost. I went to a couple classes and decided this wasn't for me. I had the goal, but I just couldn't reach it. And I feel like if I had something like steps and success back then, I wouldn't have fell through those cracks. So when I came to my one day class in, in summer of 2014, um, Mr. Cameron kind of had that aura about him that pulls you in and motivates you. And so I was like, I have to follow that guy. He's going to get me where I need to be. And I uh, went to General Studies 131, I think it was. And I said before, it was like chicken noodle soup to the non-traditional student soul. Like, I would go to all these hard classes and feel like, there's no way I can do this. I, I done took the wrong step. And then I go to 131 and say, oh, everybody feels like that. And then there's the tutor lab, and there's this resource and this resource. And so taking that class absolutely changed um, my academic journey. And uh, I followed through with everything that I learned in that class and I worked hard and I got 4.0s and presidential letters and I was so ready to go to my program in Bellevue. And I went and applied and I had everything I needed and I got that denial letter in the mail. Ooh, <laughs> I was so down and I didn't know what to do. I just felt so, so lost. Like I knew where my goal was at, but I had lost the reach and I sat around the house and moped for a little bit and I was like you know what I need to find Mr. Cameron again and when I came in and told him what I was going through that's when he first um, introduced me to Steps to Success. He said he had something for me and it was really good. I felt good giving back because I knew that I had um, gained a lot from it and the reason why I didn't get in my program they liked my grades but my interview scores were terrible because believe it or not I don't like talking in front of people very much. <laughs> so uh, Mr. Cameron took me and threw me in front of every meeting, every class, every mic. <laughs> and um, it was good working with the program. And when I went back in last year, or this year, for my interview, the panel of five people didn't look that scary to me anymore. And the next letter I got in the mail <laughs> was acceptance. So I got into my program. <laughs> I got in and, and I appreciated everything he's done for me and uh, somehow Mr. Cameron threw me in front of a mic. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I'd like to say about Mr. Cameron is one thing that we learned about in uh, Gen 131 was always time management and you have to be on time and if you ever went to one of Mr. Cameron's meetings or classes you would know that sometimes He's not on time. So I'm like, okay, Mr. Cameron, you know, you're not practicing what you're teaching, but if you've ever walked across campus with Mr. Cameron, you'll find out immediately why that is because he can't take 10 steps without helping somebody, stopping to give somebody advice or helping or setting up a meeting for them to come at another time. So I just want to say thank you for doing what you do. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.